Welcome back, family, friends, to another Geeky Spree! That's right. Geeky Spree coming at you. I wanted to share some things with y'all today. On May the 4th be with you, Star Wars Day. So, I showed off a little bit of my Star Wars stuff on the intro. I thought that was pretty neat. I got a little bit more at the end of the video if you want to check it out. Just a quick little flyby of some of my stuff. Picked up this great magnet of uh, Harley Quinn and Joker Tango with Evil. That uh, is great. That is my favorite Alex Ross painting. And also got this Nightmare on M Street 5 magnet, the Dream Child. Yep. Good addition to my fridge. Alrighty. I got me a... I have a Marvel Finals Mystery Mini Bobblehead. I've been slowly getting more and more of these. And I don't have any luck with these. I always seem to get double. So let's see what I got this time. I would like to get a Deadpool... A Thanos. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. There's all the ones you can get there. Let's get it open and see who I got in here. <laughs> I got Thor. His head is a little... <laughs> His head is stretched a little bit, but there he is. He's pretty neat. Camera don't want to cooperate today, people. But I like that one. He'll be a good addition. His head is a little warped. Hope I can fix that. There we go. I just shoved it down on there so his head don't bobble around. Which that's fine with me. I don't know why all the Marvel stuff has to be bobbleheads. But that's cool. He's a good addition to Funko Mini Collection. Picked up an awesome Harley Quinn lanyard. For just a couple bucks. It's on clearance. Got the little Harley Quinn checkerboard logo there for her. And you got Harley Quinn all over it. Good little addition to the collection. Okay. Also, I have a couple of shirts here that have been lying around the house for probably a month now. So let's see what I got from Rip Apparel. finally found me a few Disney themed shirts I actually like. I'm not a Disney shirt kind of guy but some of the stuff I do like. Here's a cool one of a mashup video game Disney from one of my favorite Disney movies Sword and Stone. Don Bluth animated it and it's just a wonderful wonderful movie. Came out in 1944 I want to say or is that too damn long ago? I don't know. But <laughs> It was a long time ago. But it's a really fun movie. Here's a good shirt of young Arthur pulling. Guess what he's pulling out there? He's pulling the Master Sword out. And Link's looking on in the background like, what the hell? So there you go. There's a good look for that. Young King Arthur there pulling the sword out of the stone, the Master Sword. And there's Link in the background. Like, how's he doing that? So that's a cool one. I like that one. Sword in the Stone, if you haven't seen it, check it out. Great one to show the kids, people. Also got another Sword in the Stone themed shirt. With a little 80s thrown into it. There you go. Check that one out. Young Prince Adam pulling the sword of power from the stone. Check it out.
You see that? That is pretty cool. Look at the little battle cat. Ain't he cute? Look at him down there. He's like, he's pulling his sword. It's amazing. That is a great shirt. Will be a great addition for my body. <laughs> that was weird, I know. All right. Also found some great, fantastic DVD deals this week. Picked up the Lost Boy, the Lost Boys, great vampire flick, Keith Sutherland back in the day. It's got the Heyman Brothers in it. If you haven't seen this one and you're a horror fan, you're really missing out. But this is one of them DVDs. It's the two this special edition. I only got it, it was two bucks. So, but the reason I bought it was because this is one of them DVDs and everybody has them in their collection. You have a DVD for some reason that just always keeps disappearing or gets lost or someone took it or you bar, let someone borrow it and they never gave it back. This is one of those DVDs. Always this DVD seems to disappear from my collection. So I had to pick it up again. So hopefully I can hang on to it this time. But it's got the bonus discs in there. Two, two hours of special features. And for $2, I couldn't beat it. Also, for a couple bucks, I found Friday the 13th, Part 3. 3D. Yes. 3D. 3D. Comes with the awesome 3D glasses. I couldn't pass that up for the price. Got the great 3D glasses in here. They're like... They look kind of like Jason Voorhees hockey mask. There you go. I could pass that up for a couple bucks. So that's pretty cool. I also picked up this movie I've been looking forward to seeing. It's called Rigor Mortis. It's like a kung fu, sci-fi, uh, supernatural, chop sake flick. Rigor Mortis. Not sure if y'all seen it, but I've been wanting to check it out. Because it's like kung fu with a little supernatural dirty. And so it says on the back here, it says, A washed up actor, despite his suicidal moves into a haunted apartment building where supernatural creatures ghost hunting and zombies and souls of the undead walk amongst his neighbors. Rigor Mortis is a martial arts infused chilling homage to the classic Chinese vampire movies back in the day. So that should be fun. I'm going to check it out. It, it's actually streaming on Netflix but it's subtitled. This is the English dub version so I I can finally watch it without having to read it because sometimes I'm just lazy and I don't want to read a movie. But I don't mind subtitles sometimes. Alrighty. And being, I ran over to GameStop because I heard they were selling Funko Pops. And I found one I've been wanting for a long time. Harley Quinn with the mallet. And I couldn't believe it was in there. And some people say they've reissued them, but from the paint job on this, it doesn't really look like a reissue to me. It's, you know, got some flaws on it. Let's take her out and show you what she looks like. I've got the Harley Quinn with the pop gun. It's on the back right here. Right there. This is the one with the mallet, which is supposedly kind of rare. But if this is a reissue, that's fine with me. It doesn't bother me. But here she is. With her little hammer, her little mallet, so she can go club the bat. This looks really funky with the 3D glasses on. <laughs> it's like it's really coming out on my little um, camera screen. It's like it's jumping out of the screen. But there she is. As you can see, it's, the paint, it's got a little bit of paint flaws around her mask. And she's got like some marks on her head. So that makes me wonder if this actually is a reissue or it's one of the originals. Does anybody know how you find out if it's a reissue or not? Is there a special mark on the Funko Pops or on the box or anything like that? 
if it is, y'all just leave me a comment below. Let me know. I'd be interested to in find out if they put markings on the individual uh, reprints of the Funko Pops. And being that it's May 4th, Star Wars Day, I had to get my very first Star Wars Funko Pop. Yes, strangely enough, I have no Star Wars Funko Pops, but I believe I picked a good one to start off with. And of course, GameStop has exclusive Funko Pops now. Go figure. I mean, <laughs> of course they would. But they had this one, which is Chewbacca Hoth. It's like Chewbacca in his little Hoth gear from Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back. And he's got snow all over him. So that's pretty cool. So let me take him out. I've never opened a Star Wars pop before. This is my first one. They have a couple other exclusives too. Let me show you on the back. Chewbacca Hoth. Who's that? R2 B5, B1. Hoth Han Solo. And you got Figurin Din, Din, which is the most Eisley, I believe, Cantina band member. Yeah, pretty neat. I always picked that one up. So here's Chewbacca. And of course, he's a bobblehead as well. There you go. See? When I saw these uh, a couple years ago when I worked at Blockbuster, they were selling them. And I wasn't interested in them because they had this big black base on them. But I didn't know the base came off. I thought the base stayed attached to the feet. But now that I know the base comes off, I'm really interested in getting to some more of them. I thought that was ugly. I thought they were mounted to that thing permanently. But here's Chewbacca Hoth. See, he's got like snow all on his head. Or he's got dandruff, one dollar, really bad case. Snow on his little hands and feet. So I thought I picked a good one to start off with. Oh, that's is he cute? He was cute, I thought. Kinda looks like your dogs. It looks like your little Skittles, Johnny Tez. Look at him. But that was my first Star Wars Funko Pop. So, picked him up, and he's awesome. And I was on the fence about the Yoda. I really wanted that Yoda when he was so cute. And I might have to go back and get him. So, that was my geeky spree for now, everybody. And, oh, yeah, you're wondering why this thing right here is on my face? <laughs> I bet you are wondering why that is on my face. Because May 21st is Red Nose Day. And Red Nose Day is a charity uh, event. And let me tell you about it. It's to raise money. Red Nose Days is all about having fun, raising money, and changing lives. Raising money through Red Nose Day will help transform lives of children living in poverty in the U.S. and overseas. So watch the Red Nose Day telethon on May 21st on NBC to raise money for the help children in poverty. And you can run down to your Walgreens, grab your red nose, it's a buck. Half of the proceeds go to support kids in poverty and need you know, to help support them, you know, feed them and things like that. But you can go to your local Walgreens. This charity events helps sponsor the Boys and Girls Club of America, Children's Health Foundation, Global fund save the children united way so it's just something i wanted to talk about i thought it was a great great campaign so run down to the walgreens if you're in there throw a buck in the pot grab your red nose slap it on your face make somebody laugh for the day it's definitely worth it so tune in to nbc and check that telethon out on may 21st take care family friends thanks for visiting you geeky neighbor Come back and visit me sometime. Take care. Be safe.